What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is six happily surprising things about living in America. I think I did react to this video about two years ago. After, I, I, um, I think it was April. I did look the other day because I was surprised we haven't done it. I don't recognise this. I may recognise the glasses. Yeah, as always. And obviously, lots of the pond. Get, check his channel out, but we should wait after this video. Because mm -hmm. normally these videos, if it's an old one and it sounds like a video we should have done because yeah. it seems like an interesting video and think we'll learn. I just I go on our channel, I type it in and it popped up British guy. So I have British guy. But this was April twenty twenty one, I'm pretty sure. So I can't pre remember. I can't remember a lot of it. So it may be a surprise to me again. It was pre merely coming on the channel. Um but we're gonna check it out today. Yeah. First time for you. Technically a first time for me because I haven't seen it in so long, but it is a second time. Are you ready? I am ready. Smash the i button, would really appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button as well, you absolute legends. And let's check out six happily surprising things about living in America. What we got? Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And one of those memos pertains to the things that surprise us. Okay. Specifically for me, the things that happily surprise me about living in the United States. Now this might seem like a strange video to do at this time while many of us are trapped in our quarantine bunkers. Ooh, but once we all emerge, I'm excited to start enjoying many of these things very, very soon, even though I didn't get to for the first 26 years of my life. <laughs> America, today I salute you. Here are six happily surprising things about living in the United States. Okay. Are you ready? I little suppose sometimes, thing. you know, it's it's the little things in life, or should I say, the litter things in life uh, that please people. And, you know, growing up in a country that is a wasteland, quite frankly. I'm joking, Britain's not that bad. But, is litter. Um, but we do have a tendency just to, you know, yeah. throw litter around. And sometimes now, I've been hearing uh, back in Britain since I've left, we've had this uh, problem with fly tipping. And that's where, yeah. you know, Ooh. people are dying. Fly tipping can be a big Couches, thing. Couches, Oh, yeah, everything. mattresses and yeah. stuff like that can be a big thing. Not in bad and Jersey. Jersey. Don't see in Jersey. Jersey's okay, so it is a little island. You can't really get away with it, to be honest, because a and lot of like people know each other. A very good recycling system here, like a very good place to go. Yeah, it's easy to go down to the dump. It's really and stuff easy like. to get rid of your stuff here. Definitely, but it's obviously, not far away from anyone. In the UK, there's a lot of dumping. Mm -hmm. Definitely dumping their trash. But even minus that, I just got this general sense that Britain was just a bit more littery than America. In America, everywhere's super clean. That's one of the great things about it. You can enjoy the oxygen around you, knowing that it hasn't enjoy touched a chewing gum wrapper. This is usually the case, and I'm taking the examples of the places I've lived. This is about four different cities at this point. And in each and every one of them, you have very green, very well kept gardens, very trees. clear sidewalks. That's typical in some cases, that could be because nobody used them. Um, but it's really refreshing to go to the beach here <laughs> in Chicago oh and not find discarded chippy wrappers or crushed Coca Cola cans. Or used one. condoms. Mm. Americans, on Ooh, the whole, nice. are just better about not littering. And I know that that sounds like a generalization of the wild variety, and it, it makes me sound like a, a crotchety old man telling people to get off his yard. But at least my yard is clean. <laughs> I mean, most in Britain are, to be fair. It's, it's mostly the streets. And I should know, I grew up on the mean streets of Grimsby. It was actually a nice area, but you know, sometimes the streets would still be littered with caviar containers. <laughs> in, 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 in Grimsby, I don't know. What was that? As what a was fan. That one? Um, oh, soccer, soccer fields. Field. Okay, I have heard this one before. Maybe, yeah. it, maybe it was this video reminding me. But yeah. I've heard because it soccer is like a massive, like younger age. It's the little kids, isn't it? They absolutely love it. Yeah. It's the first, but then they go out of it a lot of the time. And they move on to like American football. More brutal contact. I feel like yeah, soccer is like definitely. Whereas soccer in the UK is for all ages. I'd say oh, it's quite big in all ages. Yeah, you just grow up with it and then but you carry on. In America, it's definitely aimed at like the under six, seven. You grow up with it and then they move on to different mm -hmm. things. Definitely. This one was hugely surprising, especially as a fan of football, or as they say in the rest of the English-speaking world, soccer, because you know I'd always sort of understood America to not be truly interested in soccer or football. And in many respects, this is still true, at least, you know, when things are normal and sport is still happening. America still prioritises NFL, basketball, hockey, and what's the other one? Baseball. Yeah, they're the above main Above yeah. all other sports. And so it was just really surprising to this fresh-faced Brit who came equipped with a soccer ball to find that there were soccer fields aplenty. They were everywhere. Even even in Anderson, Indiana, right? Which is the, is the place that I've lived that had the lowest population. But off the top of my head, I can already think of 
about five soccer fields oh, wow. in that wow. city alone. That is a lot. Um, they're very, very widespread, at least in the eastern portion of the United States. I can't speak for the sort of the plains and the Rockies, because yeah. can you imagine having soccer fields high up in the mountains? <laughs> it, it might happen. If you He's live in those areas, let me know in the comments below. But I think one of the chief reasons that there are just so many of them is that they're very popular with school-age people. And of course, it is one of the most popular sports in the United States played by women. You've just got to look at the overwhelming women success as well, yeah. of the US women's national team. That's a big one. At this point, about 2.5 million World Cups. England, of course, still waiting on theirs. And no. speaking of waiting, that brings yeah, us on yeah. to yeah. this. America is known as this the one, land of the free. Right? Again, this one is... I mean, we covered this actually in a video with... Lost in the Pond. Lost in the Pond. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. We spoke about this with him. It's, it's, while there is paid toilets in the UK, it's mainly a touristy place with like train stations and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's definite, they are grim, the public toilets that are free, but they oh, are yeah. available. I, I, we, I do avoid the free there's ones. In Jersey, it's all free, isn't it? Yeah, Jersey's not too bad, actually. But in the UK, there's they some, are very grim. Yeah, but I mean, ones. there's still a free toilet. True. Oh, yeah, definitely not complaining one bit. But the paid ones... But you have to be desperate. <laughs> paid ones are probably nicer, but again... But they're aimed at, like, London and... Very touristy places. Festivals tend to have the pay... 20p or something. Did they? In the UK, I've heard, yeah. But oh, like, okay. Not, yeah, the I, I've never been to one, it's just the, but, the port of lose, but um, um, yeah, very tall, which is why I guess a lot of people come over because obviously they visit the London to the tourist yeah. places and go, I've got to pay for my toilet. Yeah, they don't go Rotherham in there. Yeah, exactly. They don't go to Rotherham and never have to pay. <laughs> They'd be scared. They'd be running. They don't want to go to Rotherham toilets. I always thought that that was quite weird because, you know, I always considered Britain to be quite free, as in we had I really think freedoms, it's bizarre But then I started to think, well, yeah. maybe it comes down to the little toilet. things. It right? makes sense. Something I noticed, no, of course, I've talked about no, it on this does. channel. Is because at the end... someone's got to pay for toilet roll and stuff like that. But no, like, the toilet, just, yeah, just the maintenance yeah, like, of that toilet. Someone needs to go and to, clean like, it. If you have to pee and you don't have 50p on you, you have to yourself oh no no you, you, if you're that bad you just jump it <laughs> if you're that bad you just jump it is it is 25p yeah you can get you can get free refills in in any kind of restaurant oh, free refills sodas. we want and that. the same is true of Did it in TGIs? toilets except you don't you don't TGIs? The contents. Yeah. let's be clear about that remember she said if you have a coke or, lem or lemonade from a tap you get it you get a free refill, remember? And they were, they took my glass away. Do you remember? And we were like, oh yeah, they're just filling it up. Oh, you did get it, didn't you? Yes, yeah. TGI's. It is tap. a milk and face thing, but that is very yeah. true. Oh, because we thought the only place that did it was Pizza Hut and then they closed down. Yeah. But TGI's, TGI's did, did do but it. But only on the one that's like half water, half... Yeah, that's coke. most. That's everyone though, like, isn't it? If you have one from McCann, then you don't get that. Which no, place. which makes sense, to be fair, because it is from McCann, isn't yeah. it? Beers weren't for you, refills. <laughs> what I'm saying is, in Britain, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, public toilets will charge you an entry fee in order to use it. And I can understand why they do this. You know, it's partly for the upkeep of said public toilets. But it's a big problem when you really need to go. Nobody wants to find themselves in a race to find their change versus a race to change their knickers. In America, though, I'm sure there are some quirky exceptions somewhere. You never have to worry about that. You just have to worry that people can see you through the crack. Nice. The dreaded crack. I feel like Windows I've mentioned screens. Windows screens a lot oh, in my videos, screens, but not really the in the context yeah, of... Yeah, it's been covered on a few videos, hasn't it? We don't have these. they brought me a lot of joy. And that might sound really strange, right? Um, but in England, we never had them. And we also never had air conditioning. So you find yourself in this strange situation, particularly on a warm summer's day, of having to open the window just to get some fresh air in. But of course, with that come some other things. Things like, you know, mosquitoes, which to be fair in Britain aren't anywhere near as bad as they are in the American yeah, West. Yeah, not many. Or Big Daddy Long Legs, or, you know, bees. We do bees get a lot of Daddy Long Legs. House, and who wants that? Now, you know, bees and wasps and things like that are probably the most dangerous things that might get into your house in Britain. Uh, so it's it's not really a huge concern, but it can be an irritation. And it's an irritation that's largely Flies. alleviated oh. in the United States by the existence of these window screens. I'm not saying that insects don't get in at all. I mean, I've seen enough ant colonizations in my kitchen to know that that's not true. But I do not remember the last time I encountered a wasp, a bee, or a mosquito Maybe inside we should get my one. apartment. It just it just doesn't really to happen. Be fair, but the big revelation that is when we've not really had the windows open because we're not we're going to summer. But yeah. I have had the bedroom window open. We haven't actually had anything. We've not had any come through. But yeah, we, it has only been since I say and October. The thing and is, it has though, been winter. But... I have the bedroom open, but this one in here is more towards the beach, and I feel like you'd get more like flies and stuff. Yeah, in the summer. potentially. Potentially. We'll see. 
Hopefully it's going to be the baby's room, so hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Window screens doesn't just stop bugs from getting in. It also stops a certain somebody from getting out. And I'm not talking about my wife. Cat. She Cat. uses the door. Now, in Britain, people yeah. might be a little less concerned about this because, you know, there's more of an outdoor <laughs> cat just why it's funny, there. Cause... But my cat, much like the cat... When we were at your mum's, yeah. our bedroom was downstairs. So it was like, obviously, like, jumpable. Ground floor. We put up a screen to stop the cat <laughs> not... getting in because the cat kept jumping... <laughs> Right, from outside, true. in through our window, and then marking all our wall. And knocking everything over, but, windowsill over. And he'd sit there and just cry. So we actually had to put a screen <laughs> yeah, up. But then he the mastered cat. the screen. Don't be wrong. He, we let him in the house. We did he let him in. He's mainly we, a house cat. We had to go round and get him. Yeah. Because he needs to. He obviously needed to know that he... Because we had photo frames on that window, so he'd just always... You'd leave the door open when you go to work, and then he'd get trapped in your room because he couldn't get out. And then it would be like, mm. oh, well, you're trapped in our room all day. Potentially... You've weed somewhere. Weed somewhere because there's no litter tray in there. So we, had to put, we did put a but screen to keep them out. the scary thing was that night when we used to let him in, he was meowing, and because he was black, he, you just he just jumped through. Oh, it's just the eyes. Yeah. The eyes open up. <laughs> of many people in the United States is very decidedly an indoor cat. And if I want to open the window, as I did today, right, there are occasions during spring and autumn when, you know, it's not hot enough for the air conditioning unit and it's not cold enough for the heating. You want to crack a window open, right? Yep. And if that were the case in Britain on a lower floor or even the second floor, your cat's gone. And to me, that would be bad because, you know, recently I did have a dream that we lost him in the beach. And I know that curiosity isn't going to kill my oh. cat, but a Prius would. Window that screens save lives. Now, once we get the all clear to start on... Update. We've we found our cat. I don't think we mentioned we the did, cat. We did, on live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah our we cat did. is fat. The cat we talked about was found, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mass leaving our apartments whether that is by the door or the window then there's one aspect of america i will never take for granted again and it's this Ooh, Don't get me wrong, cool. you know, we have a fantastic okay, national park system in the United Kingdom and one, you know, I wished I'd experienced more yeah, while Peak I district, there. Lake district. Um, yeah, And the mean. same thing is happening right now as I live in America. I feel like I haven't seen enough of the national parks or even sort of state parks got really state forests though. and things of that nature. Is Central Park a national park? Um, no. That potentially could be a state park. Uh, okay. We did a video, didn't we, on the difference. I don't I know if it remember. is a state park, but... We, I, it was mentioned it could potentially it might just be a central park <laughs> it just sounds like a no it's quite big but it's not like nah, it's not national size okay. I don't think now I have experienced one or two you know mere woods near San Francisco but I want to see the big ones you know Yellowstone I've, I've sold out at this point I want to do Yellowstone yep. National Park we'll I want to do Yosemite I want to do Badlands all of them basically in a week can we can we make that happen no yeah. why not because combined, they're larger than Britain. Right. The wow. national park system is amazing, protecting some of the most unbelievable natural settings I've ever experienced, or will experience, because, you know, I want to enter the Grand Canyon. That's not a euphemism. So I've already said to the wife, when we get out of this, we're cancelling the Paris trip, even though she's always wanted to do it, so that's, that's a little harsh. We're, we're just going to go out stone. west, you know, pack up our tents and grow moustaches like Teddy Roosevelt. That's me, not the wife. Now, those of you that are new to this channel might not know that I used to do travel videos back in the day. And today, at the top of Ensign Peak, uh, a wasp stung me. But then that combined Dang with wasp. having to work a day job just got a little challenging. So I put it on hold, but I think now that I'm YouTubing full time, I might start it up again. Mm. I we don't mean see tomorrow, it. I mean when we've got the all clear and it's done. interesting though, by the way, we will be doing hopefully soon when we get some time a vlog around like the war tunnels. Um, we got an email about the Hug B the other day, which is like a very, I can't remember what the history is yeah. behind it, but it's super, super old. Yeah. It's super, super old, I'll put it that way. Uh, so let us know in the comments if you want to see more vlogs like that. This people. one might be the biggest okay. one of all, hence why I saved it to last. They've been loving to us. What is a country yeah. without its people? In America's case, it's one big land of unregulated national parks. And I think this one is on the mind because, well, I haven't seen any people except the one and a half that I live with. And the good thing, I think, that was surprising anyway about Americans and American people is just how nice most of you are. That's, if, you, if you're not talking about politics or religion or PB&J sandwiches, of course, there are wild exceptions, and I do mean wild, um, in any country. And I've certainly seen them here on occasion too, but they are the exception that proves the rule. Unlikely as it seems, I just have to look at the comment section beneath my videos. I know, sounds like a mistake, never do that. <laughs> but mostly it's Americans who comment. And for the most part, they're all really nice. You're Same, all really we can nice. Same, we can agree. We literally can agree. Most of them are Americans. Not every single one is going to be nice. A lot of the, like, and it, the thing is, the not nice ones irritate you 
because definitely we definitely think about the ones that the ones that aren't nice like no i think hold on to them yeah <laughs> but they they make you want to be like oh <laughs> because it's like why why do you need to do that but honestly the amount of nice messages and we see most of them because they do that when it works like they do pop up on our phone you can see them in the corner but i obviously we can't reply to all of them because there is a lot coming in and like we'll scroll down yeah we'll scroll we'll down scroll and through. have a look as well but like i said we can't really stop to look if at all of them to text back everyone we wouldn't get videos every night. yeah you wouldn't get we wouldn't get we wouldn't have a job either <laughs> definitely not but they are awesome thank you so so much and during our live stream, everyone's been so nice as well. People have been generous as well. That's like, mad, mad. So we really, really. If you can't, Millie is the it. best. I might reply to you. What about James? No, I won't win. <laughs> I won't win. <laughs> I won't win. <laughs> I'll reply if you say James Most is the best. Too. I, mean, I ignore the ones that aren't. I have a motto focus on the flowers, not the weeds. And oh, maybe this is a bad oh, example. A, mm -hmm. a good example would be in real life. life. Americans are very welcoming, you know, sometimes too welcoming. I've been invited to ranches by people I've never met. It's it's weird, but it happens. <laughs> and I think it's just sort of bred into people to be hospitable. Who's just There's good? a lot of hospitality. You often hear of um, Hoosier hospitality, where I lived in Indiana. You, you hear of Southern hospitality, an appreciation for other people that goes missing on Twitter. But for the most part, you don't have those kind of interactions in real life or at least that's been my experience of it the interactions you have i think are mostly very nice i think of going into shops i think of going into restaurants and i know that it's it's part of their job to treat the customer well it can be split into two camps either you get that really sort of over the top cheeriness because they want a higher tip yeah or it's just it feels very genuine mm. uh, specifically you when you can you're definitely in a shop tell yeah i'll definitely a conversation with somebody it's it's much easier to do i think than perhaps in britain we're a little more guarded i think okay. about the certain things like i can that. see that wild generalization yeah. again and of course i'm not saying that americans are better than british people but i think it's worth mentioning because if you're coming here and you expect everybody to fall into sort of one of five categories right either a, a cd boss type from an 80s wall street movie a stoner kid a surfer dude they're, they're one and the same all of the characters from friends or i love that norman mm. bates from psycho then you're going to be disappointed or happily surprised as i was that's it for this cultures, episode thank definitely. you for joining me let that's me know good. in the comments and that's below. a reminder for me as well did you enjoy that yeah it's good some of them like i wouldn't have thought that would have been no definitely and then obviously some which we've covered in other videos so we've got our own opinion yeah. nice to see a different opinion in launches as, as well and uh, yeah enjoy that it was good yeah smash the like button guys smash the subscribe button we would seriously appreciate it and watch the video have a fantastic day and we will see you legends in the next one peace